Um, so Marg, Marty. Um, I actually get Midge a lot from, I think it's from The Simpsons or something. My friends call me Midge. Marguerite, uh, Mags, everything. Anything that's up to them, <laughs> I guess. God, that's a million dollar question. <laughs> now, these days, um, my mid 20s, I love my body, but it's taken a really long time to get to this stage. Um, I think growing into a woman at that, at that stage where everything's growing and developing, it's really hard, but I, yeah, I can only say I love it now. Of course, I think like every girl, every woman goes through that. Um, especially when I was younger. When I was really younger, I was really athletic. So I had this crazy athletic muscle body. And then as soon as I hit puberty, and I hit puberty pretty late, it just, it went, went crazy. Everything just came in and I don't know, it's just so confusing and you don't understand what's happening and it's just, yeah. And then of course, you know, medium plays a huge role in it as well. And yeah, I really hated my body. I hated everything about it. To this day, I cannot smell that soup diet. Oh my gosh, it's awful. No, I've tried everything. Um, extreme exercising, non-eating, eating, absolutely everything. But I th it's only now, it's amazing. Like when you're unhappy, I think that's when you get kind of the worst results. Like I was doing everything and I still wasn't getting the results I wanted. It still made me unhappy. But now that I'm just like, eh, you know, your body's your body. Like that's when I see the best results kind of thing. It's, I don't know, it's weird. My favorite thing about my body, <sighs> probably my boobs. <laughs> um, yeah, I was really lucky. Thank you, mama. But um, yeah, I think that's my favorite thing about my body. I admire a lot of people. I think I admire anyone who knows what they want from life and goes out and gets it. Um, like there's so many people to admire for so many different reasons, but when I meet someone who really, really wants something out of life and works really hard to get it, and I think they're just incredible and they do get it, yeah. But I always look back on my teens, my 20s, even when I was younger and just be like, oh my God, I can't believe I was, you know, so obsessed about this tiny little thing that means absolutely nothing. And I think I'll still do it for the rest of my life. Like I'll be 40 and I'll look back at my 30s and my 20s and be like, you idiot, you know? I think it's just a common thing that everyone makes and does. But, oh, so many things, so many things. Shopping, <laughs> why did I do that? No, um, I think boys, boys will be the big one when I'm older. <laughs> well, I've never had a problem. <laughs> I don't think it matters at all. I think if you're worried, about like I get it. I've I've been in that position where I, I have been worried, you know, what my my ass looks like. Everyone has cellulite and like you do get self-conscious about it, but I have never been kicked out of the bedroom. I have never been denied anything. So really I've never had a problem with it whatsoever. And I really think for men, confidence is the key. Like, you know, they're after a Oh no, we'll have to stop there. <laughs> I'm just like, I shouldn't say that on film. It's inappropriate. Let's skip over that one. But no, I don't think like, I have worried in the past. I don't worry anymore. And yeah, one word used to describe me. Um, probably giggly. Yeah, I tend to giggle a lot. And what's something that you think you would hope people will describe you as? One word, that's a toughie. One word to describe me. I hope nice. You know, I think at the end of the day, I always remember people about how they treated me. And I always remember really honest and genuine people. And I hope that's how people see me as well. Yeah. If I could go back and give my 16 year old self some advice. Oh, I'd have so much advice for her. <laughs> I have dreams about this, literally, that I could go back and be like, Marge? No. Um, I'd probably tell her to just chill out. Like, life is long. You don't have to rush and do everything. Um, so listen to herself, listen to her body, and just be who she is, and not try and be a chameleon for other people. I think that's a huge thing for me. I don't know, like, I accept myself. I accept myself for who I am now. Um, and I think, like, I'm always trying to develop and better myself. But yeah, I'm happy with who I am. I'm really happy with who I am, yeah.